I'm Amy, this is Living in Chrysalis, and I'm going to do my whole face with just the eyeshadows from my Game of Thrones panning project. So let's get to it. Welcome or welcome back. I am just a couple of days past past ankle surgery, so I am not really doing a whole lot at the moment. I kind of lost track of what day it was, and now it is a uh, very early Thursday morning, and I realized I gotta have a video up in a few hours. Oops! But, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and do a full look using only my two cream e.l.f. eyeshadow palettes that I've put into my Game of Thrones themed panning project. Now, obviously <laughs> I'm doing this for more than one reason, <laughs> but I do want I do want to play with these some more. And you know, late at night seems like a good time because I have to take a shower in the morning anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and Go in with, oh, let's see, what am I calling this one? Caldrogo, this brown shade. I'm going to go ahead and use that for an eyebrow color. It's because, oh, well, it's the darkest one I've got. It's a bit more of a chocolate tone than I would normally use, but... Again, this is not a look for the outside world. Just fooling around with you guys, right? Sides. I thought it might be fun to do this because, of course, Season 8 has finally started. And yes, I did see it. It took me a couple, it took me a couple of days to see it, but I did see it. So, yay! Now I just have to wait week to week. Whoops. <laughs> okay, well, there goes that. This is just one of the uh, applicators from those Rimmel Magnifies palettes. Not a real loss. All right. Now, for the blush... Actually, let me go with contour first. For contour, I'm going to go with Tyrion. It's a bit of a softer shade of brown. Excuse me for a moment. Scolding the child a little because he's yammering. All right, let's try this. Okay, this shade is... Definitely too warm for me to want to use as a contour on a regular basis. This is kind of fun. <laughs> like, all right, let's try using the wrong colors and see how it goes. All right, then do the little hit to the chin. So I don't really have a cleft in my chin, but it's like I have the, like the barest trace. Okay, let's hit the nose a little. <laughs> it's so funny to see the wrong color. I've been so careful with my shade. <laughs> okay. All right, so how are we doing there? Okay, for blush, yeah, I'm going to go a bit predictable. But um, between the Melanie shade and... The red shade. Huh. Actually, it might be kind of fun to use the melon. Let me try the melon shade for a blush instead. Was going to use the red, but hey. Let's play with this melon. Oh, what did I call this one? Lord Varys. That's right. Lord Varys. Hmm. I suppose it makes sense to put Lord Varys and Tyrion together. After all, they did spend all that time together last season. Oh, 
Okay, all right, yeah. Doing some little damage to Lord Varys here. <laughs> of course, for lips, and I'm going to go for them now because I am... I am feeling a little dry mouth. I am, of course, going for the Red Wedding. Because why wouldn't I? Unless I wanted to go with the blue, which I might do another time, actually. That could be fun. But I've already committed to the red, so let's just roll with it, shall we? Hmm. It's so hard for me to <laughs> to talk now because I really want to talk about the, the episode, but I don't want to give any spoilers for anyone who hasn't had the chance to see it yet. Because I'm considerate like that. I know not everybody has seen, you know, seen it within the first couple of days. Okay. Ooh, actually I kind of like that. Mwah. Listen, buddy. Okay, so for a highlighter, hmm, I guess I'm going to go with Ghost. It's the grungier of the two whites I have. This one's more of an off-white. It's not quite as bright. And I don't like it for eyeshadow anyway because it tends to disappear. Seems to make a better highlighter, although, yeah, really a bit on the glittery side for me normally. Okay. Oh, yes, and for a base, I'm wearing a powder foundation from She Who Shall Not Be Named. Now, for eyeshadow, 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 what do I want to do? I don't know. Let's find out. Okay, well, I think I'm going to have to go in with... <sighs> okay, you know what? I'm going to go a little crazy today. I'm going to go with... A big, huge streak of Brienne here. This beautiful sapphire blue, Brienne of Tarth. I do, of course, refer my refer you to my intro video on this project to get the reasons for me choosing these names these names for these shades this one should be pretty pretty easy okay here we go Woo! <laughs> all right that's fun okay i'm gonna let me try to blend this with this little silly brush here I haven't actually tried to do this. This is funny. Just a whole lot of silly hair. Ah. Okay. Now, I'm going to have to throw in some Night King. Because, of course, I am. The blue and the blue. I mean, they're both so just outrageous. <sighs> cream products can be so frustrating. Now, now you see why I don't like cream products. 
drive me crazy, but I'm just fooling around at home. And I'll wash all this up before I go anywhere anyway. Which isn't going to be tonight anyway. I do have to schlep the boy over three hours to go see his grandmother for his break. Which normally is no big deal. And actually, I rather enjoy her. The only hitch is that this... It's going to be a bit difficult to do. Um, I guess, you know, with my previous foot surgeries, it was just the foot. With this, it's the ankle. So I actually have a cast up to my knee, which I've never had before. And wow, this is inconvenient. The last time I had anything this inconvenient, I had a straight brace from my hip to, <laughs> to my ankle when I trashed my knee. Oh, lo, those many years ago. Yeah. My body's been through a bit of a ringer. Okay, for the arches, I'm just going to go in with the wall. Which, of course, is now in the ocean. At least some of it. other side but hey you guys remember that from season seven that's not a spoiler I don't count saying things from season seven as a spoiler if you haven't caught up with season seven by now that is your issue not mine okay but you may be wondering what I'm leaving this space for well okay so we've got the wall and the night king and we've got Brienne of Tarth. Now, what would go nicely with Brienne of Tarth? Hmm. Well, I don't think we're quite ready for Jamie and Brienne to meet. However, I will go with her Lannister gold from the pommel of Oathkeeper. Hmm, maybe there's... I do, of course, remember from last season the mountain recognizing the Lannister gold pommel on Oathkeeper. Thus, <sighs> thus not trusting Brienne with Arya. This, of course, you know, before Arya leaves him for dead and then goes off to train with no one. Oh, excuse me. All right. I think I'll hit a little more of the, the red wedding here. I kind of like that sizzle lipstick, actually. Like I don't have enough red lipstick. I have a lot of red lipstick. It's kind of obscene, actually. I was kind of reorganizing my collection a bit when I brought it out to my living, well, not my living room, excuse me, my dining room. And, well, I still have a lot. Holy cow. But I'm not prepared to deal with that now. I will do another video on the subject. Probably to update. Okay, well, anyway, I'm going to pause real quick and do the things. And I'll be right back. Okay, here it is, the final look. You know what I look like to myself right now? Especially because I'm you know, wearing this pajama top with spaghetti straps. 
I feel like I look like a girl about to do a dance recital. You know, I have this very extreme eye makeup on and the bright lips and the hairs up and the spaghetti straps. Hey, I do ballet. I realize there's probably not a lot of trace of that left, but yes, it did happen. Hmm. <laughs> You know, this might be fun to try with non-cream products at some point in the future. Because I know, you know and I know, that this look is not going to last. Do I care right now? Not really. But, <laughs> but yeah, this is very dance recital. Okay, well, anyway, thank you so much for, uh, for hanging out while I goof off. And, of course, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Subscribe. Thank you so much, and I will see you very soon.